Hello library fans, I'm out here in front of the MLK Library, which is the San Jose Public Library, as well as the San Jose State University Library. Now I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to start off my, the series of the 34 pieces of art installed in there that I showed you guys in the little uh, recollecciones. And I actually just ran into a friend and I showed her this and she got her own copy, so she can journey now. And I showed her the uh, revolving bookcase, but that's later. For now, I'm going to show you guys the reflecting pools. Um, yeah, so the reflecting pools, it's uh, creating a commentary on water usage and industrial erosion. One of the three sinks within each of the men's and women's bathrooms is sculpturally eroded, progressing from the eighth to the third floor. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start at the 8th and I'm going to give you guys a little glimpse of each one going all the way down to the 3rd. Come on, let's go. Alright, so I'm here in the elevator. Uh, I don't know why people face the door when you've got this behind me to look at. Because all the way up to the 8th floor, usually I don't talk. I'm glad there's nobody in here. Oh, somebody's coming right now. We're at the 5th. I'll give you guys another look when we get to the eighth floor. And there you have it, the loveliness of the San Jose skyline or whatever. It's right there, and I look at this all the time when I take the library. But now, let's go to the bathroom. So here we are in the eighth floor bathrooms. As you can see, normal little sink. And then what have we got here? Oh my god, it's so tiny. Look, I can almost cover it with my whole hand. All right, now the seventh. And there's the butterflies. You can see them all over the place there. These pretty, pretty butterflies. These are uh, in all the hallways going down the stairs. I just wanted to show you that real quick. We'll talk more about it after I get down the stairs. And there is the seventh floor sink, as you can see. It's getting a little bit bigger. Here we are on the seventh or sixth floor, and you can see the sink's getting even bigger. Now we'll go to the fifth, and now we have the fifth floor sink, getting larger still, but not quite as big as the other one just yet. And now we're down to the fourth floor. And here we are on the first fourth floor. As you can see, there are yet more butterflies, which I'll talk about in a minute. Okay, here we are on the fourth floor. Turn the camera around here. See, so you got that in here. The sink is getting increasingly bigger. Now down to the third and final. And here we are at the third and final sink, which has eroded in the way of the art um, to be as big as the other sinks. So I'm going to head outside now and we're going to talk to you about we, the royal we. I'm going to talk to you about those butterflies, okay? Great. So here it is on our guide. This piece about the uh, butterflies is called Migration. And here I am on the fourth floor where they are. And I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. Well, you can see them flying above my head. The path of migration begins with the ascension of thousands of brightly colored cast metal monarch butterflies along the brilliant blue wall of the southeast stairwell. The butterflies escape the stairwell and migrate toward the book stacks, resting on the ceiling. Their destination is not arbitrary, but marks the location of significant books by Latin American authors of various disciplines. Migration acknowledges the contributions of these authors and further reinforces the concept of circulation, both of books and knowledge as a major goal of the library. So there, we've started our library series. We've got two of the artworks um, shown to you. So there's 32 to go. Eventually, I'm going to get to all of them. Uh, on the quiet floors, we're going to have to figure out a way to do overdubs of the, uh, of the information. I don't know if you can see behind me. There's a giant redwood. We'll talk about that tomorrow. Peace.